Well, Facebook is under fire again for claims its AI technology is unable to consistently trace and track hate speech on its platform. So what are they going to do about it? We're joined by our expert, Dr. Karen Sutherland from the University of the Sunshine Coast. Good morning, Karen. Lovely to see you. You too. How are you going? Yeah, good, Karen. Now, experts are critical of Facebook right now. Is its AI technology equipped to protect users? Look, apparently not. So Facebook has they've come back and said that they're going to try and curb violent content, hate speech, etc., on on its platform through the use of AI. And I'm sure that technology, maybe in the future, will be able to do that thoroughly. But yes, uh, people have come out, its own engineers, in fact, to say that no, it's definitely not yet there yet. The technology isn't there yet, and just relying on that is is really just a, a disaster waiting to happen. And we've seen violent content slip through with, with the current use of AI trying to pick it up as well. So it's definitely not flawless by any means. Yeah, we know Facebook's, I guess, social media platform is so huge, it's so complex, it has so many users. Do you think it's doing enough here to tackle this? Because it, it has the ability to, but does it want to? It's, it's just, there is no black and white answer to this. And I don't know if you've seen, like a, a couple of years ago, there were these reports coming out of these, these moderators who are real people, who when, when uh, content is reported on the platform, they then have to go and, and, and view it. And the actual mental health of these poor people and the things that they had to view is, is just um, terrible because of um, the things that they have to see on a, on a daily basis. So. I mean, AI is, it would be great if it could pick up everything, but you still need that human element. But what about those poor people who have to actually view that content? So I think there, there are so many holes in this argument and um, there is no you know, unequivocal answer to this problem. And as I've said before, it's almost like the horse has bolted because there are so many users on the platform uh, sharing, creating content. And how can any company at this stage really um, control that flow of information? Yeah, it feels like each week we have a new development in regards to Facebook. They're under fire for something new. Um, so it does feel like there potentially needs to be maybe more regulation in regards to this kind of stuff. Uh, also heading our news, LinkedIn has left China. What's going on there? Is this regarding China's intense crackdowns? What's happening? Yeah, I think I think LinkedIn. It's I think there's a, there's a couple of things at play here. So I think uh, Link, LinkedIn has tried very hard. It's very hard for a social network to actually uh, be allowed to function in China. Um, Facebook's been trying for years and years and, and still haven't managed to. But LinkedIn's been in there for a little while, uh, and they they had. Um, I think currently they've got uh, 54 million users, which uh, you know, in comparison to a platform like WeChat, is not very much um, in China. But uh, I think the rules around, again, that information flow and that control, I think their, their government is very, very strict and, and, and understand how to um, control social platforms over there and, um, you know, according to their needs. And, and LinkedIn's just been trying to jump through hoops to, to meet those. And, and I think they've just said, look, we just, we just can't. And, and I think it would have limited the platform so much that it wouldn't have actually had, you know, many benefits for the users anyway and they're in compat you know in competition with la much larger platforms like wechat so yeah so i think um that they've, they've decided to pull it right back they said they're actually going to um, create a job board uh, in the new year so that would be just for advertising employment opportunities but the actual platform itself will cease to exist pretty soon in china now karen lastly before we wrap things up TikTok has a new feature what is it well, so on TikTok, if you have more than a thousand followers, you can go live. And um, so what they've allowed, because look, I, I go live every every Friday, every Friday night, just to see who's on there, what's going on, just just for fun. And um, but you can actually uh, pause people who are commenting, because sometimes you get some quite interesting comments. <laughs> Let me say that often don't have anything to do with what you're on there to talk about. So, um, yes, you can actually, and particularly if it's abusive, you can actually uh, pause that person from commenting, which I think is, you know, might be a good move, but actually doing it uh, without people sort of seeing you do it might be another story. So, um, yeah, so it'll be interesting to see when that functionality is in. Hopefully I won't have to use it, but at least it'll be there if I need to. <laughs> Karen Sutherland, lovely to see you as always. Thank you. Have a good day.